Hello everyone and welcome to a new video. So on this video we will be going to see a short introduction about SQL and what it allows us to do. So uh, on this video we're going to learn some uh, SQL basic commands and the tool we're going to use to uh, to train ourselves will be uh, this tool that is available and in the w3schools.com website. So what is SQL? SQL stands for Structure uh, Query Language and it's a query language that allows you to retrieve data as well as to uh, insert data into databases. Main SQL function is to um, manipulate your access and data to that goes in and uh, out. Uh, SQL became a standard of the, Na the American National Standard Institute ANSI in 1986 uh, and uh, of the International Organization for its Standardization ISO in 1987. So uh, it's quite important language and it's a very convenient way of uh, being able to read your data set. SQL is the standard, but uh, although SQL is an ANSI uh, ISO standard, there are very different ways and versions uh, of the SQL language. So different tools may, may actually implement different functions on SQL. So it's not that every SQL query will be standard. Uh, however, to be compliant with ANSI standard, they also support at least the major commands. So there are a set of commands that are uh, common for most of the different versions of databases and uh, software and uh, some of these commands are select, update, delete, insert and where. Note that most of the SQL database programs also have their own proprietary extensions in addition to the SQL standard. So usually uh, because uh, not every aspect of the database could be covered by SQL just because it's like this very big umbrella standard some of the database would also have, in addition to the ANS commands, some, uh, some of their own commands, which would then allow them to uh, implement different functionalities that are not available for uh, the ESO version of SQL. So let's, uh, let's talk about some of the things that SQL could do for you. So SQL can execute queries against the database. That's the main function of SQL. Uh, SQL can also retrieve data from the database, so retrieving data with SQL, as I said, is quite convenient way and allows you to do uh, that easily. So SQL can insert records in a database, so SQL allows you to do insert comments, which would then uh, insert data into your database. SQL can update records in a database, so uh, also, uh, SQL will change records as required, so you can update and uh, uh, change the records you have saved on your database. SQL can del delete records from a database, so if you want to remove data, SQL has this functionality available as well. And SQL can create new databases, so that's another functionality of SQL, uh, allowing you to create new database. SQL can create new tables in a database, so another thing that uh, SQL allows you to do is to create those new tables. And SQL can create stored procedures in a database. And stored procedures, for those of you who doesn't know, uh, it's a more advanced uh, concept in database, which is basically uh, the ability of you uh, creating uh, functions or programming inside your database and that allows you to uh, pass uh, functions where the database could actually processing uh, process some of those functions in internally. There are many many possibilities of stored procedures. We won't be uh, covering this on this course because this is meant to be an introductory course. So, but one of the things that SQL allows you is to do stored procedures as well. SQL allows you to create create views in your database. So Views is basically a concept where you will be uh, getting different tables and uh, you can use a select to build what we call a view, which seems to be a, a table, but what it actually does under the hood is to uh, query data from different tables and uh, present you as it was a table. So SQL also allows you to do 
And uh, another thing that SQL allows is to set permissions on table, procedures, and views. So uh, SQL also allow you to grant roles and set certain permissions of access and uh, things like that. Things that you may you may require if you are dealing with a database that require multiple user access. Some of the basic uh, SQL commands uh, we on this time now we can actually experiment a little bit uh, are the following. So I would uh, I'm just listing here the most important, but you know there are a variety of them. We can uh, actually explore a little bit more on this website, as I said. So. SQL create table, uh, it's basically the basic command that allows you to create a table and SQL insert into uh, basically allows you to insert new data to your table. Select is the command that allows you to uh, search the table, uh, to query that table, retrieve the data. Uh, and SQL where is a condition that you can include on your select command that allows you to uh, filter your select which means so if you want to return a subset of that table you have to say which are uh, the uh, rules you'd like to use to filter that uh, particular table uh, we also have the sql order by which uh, basically uh, change the order where your results will be retrieved uh, sorting that by whatever column you assign it to we have the command SQL delete, and it could also be combined and should usually be combined with the where, and then you can filter uh, you can filter which rows you'd like to delete. So you can say SQL delete uh, where name is equal to uh, particular name you are looking for, and then that name will be deleted. All the records that contain the same name you listed will be deleted. We have the command SQL update that allow us to update the record on our database. So if you'd like to update row, we could say update set the number of column and then we, we do a where and usually we're going to combine that with where because we usually are looking to update uh, only uh, one row or a subset of rows. But if you don't combine that with a where, that would then update the whole uh, table, which uh, may or may not be the behavior you want. And uh, that's all for this video. We'll be playing more with those queries in the next video. Thank you very much for watching so far, and I see you in the next video.